All right, it's finally time for the review of the Atonet Pixel. Um, you can see here I got one in the bronze color that um, doesn't focus. Oh, there we go. Uh, this is the color out of the bronze and the black that I like the most. Um, it's very nice. Uh, I guess while I have the pen close up, I can go over some of the features. Uh, it has two buttons here. Um, for performing whatever you like them uh, like to map them to uh, the options uh, of what you can map depend on the app that you're using but they do generally uh, have the same features available uh, usually one of these is mapped to undo by default and then when I can I like to map the top one to color picker and the bottom one to undo but with some apps, you, you do get quite a bit of customizability. Others, it's kind of set to a default thing, and you just have to take it. The tip is a Donut's uh, Pixel Point tip. Um, it's, it, 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 it's supposed to have a little bit of tooth and kind of cling to the glass more than other styluses. Um, I can say it, it slides a little bit less than the other styluses I've used, but not significantly so. If you're expecting something more like... Uh, a pen on paper feel or something like the feel of a Wacom tablet. Uh, you're not really going to get that with this, unfortunately, but I don't really mind the slidiness of uh, styluses on glass or styli on glass, so never really bothered me. Uh, it's a little bit wiggly. It's got a little bit of give to it, um, which I personally like, but, you know, that might throw you off um, if you're not used to a tip that wiggles. Uh, you will feel it wiggling um, as you draw a little bit. But it's uh, it's very precise. It's very accurate. The size is good. I I just really like the build overall. This part is actually like an induction um, metal part for charging, and you can plug it uh, into the charger that I'll show you in just a bit. Uh, but overall, really impressed with the build quality and just the way it feels in the hand. It's a lot lighter than my other uh, styli that I own, uh, so it's very nice. Uh, built-in battery. It's uh, not a um, double A that you screw in. It's a built-in lithium-ion battery, so that's nice too. I don't like having to put uh, batteries in things. Uh, anyway, let's uh, go ahead and open up some apps here, and I'll show you what we can do. Um, first one is going to be Procreate, and we're going to go ahead and talk about the issue that I was having earlier and uh, I'm just going to recap that. If you haven't seen my previous video, The Problem of Drawing on iPads, um, this is the Bamboo Fine Line 2, the old, my old stylus that I was using uh, as my primary stylus and let's go ahead and select, uh, technical pen should be good. And I'll show you the problem was if you, it has really bad jitter problems so, and is this connected? I think I have to sync it really quick. One second. Devices. It already connected the pixel, which is nice. It has a grip sensor apparently. So when you grip the um, the pixel, it's supposed to uh, automatically pair it. Uh, in my in my uh, experience, this doesn't work with every app. Uh, sometimes I have to resync it with Procreate, but once I sync it once, then it's it stays synced to the entire time that I use it with the program. It's actually better at doing that than this stylus was. Uh, and this one doesn't have a grip sensor, to be clear, but I had to press the button to resync it quite often. So, and I have to do that less with the Adonit Pixel, so that works pretty well. And let's go ahead and show my main issue here. If you draw slowly, if you draw a diagonal line slowly, get a little bit of wiggle. You know, we just do a whole bunch. Like some of them ended up being okay. But yeah, there's quite a bit of jitter. And when you're drawing like a circle, um, I don't know if you can see what it's doing, but the end of the stroke kind of curves up a little bit. So if you're like trying to round out like a face shape or something, you get all these weird lines like jumping off the end. And that's very annoying. So that was the problem with this particular stylus and Procreate, and that was a big deal because Procreate was my favorite 
um, drawing app for the iPad, and so not being able to use the the app that I enjoy the most was kind of a big problem. So we're going to go ahead and go here, and uh, again, it, it detected that I <coughs> excuse me, it detected that I was holding it, and uh, it went ahead. And Slight uh, jump cut because I was having a bit of a coughing fit there, and that's what we call professionalism. <clears throat> anyway, uh, back to the demonstration of the uh, actual uh, Adonit Pixel. And, you know, I hope I'm saying that right. Adonit, Adonit, whatever. I'm going to keep saying Adonit until I find otherwise. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try and do the same thing. And as you can see... Very slowly. Nope. This is that's one of the two problems I will point out. This only really happens in Procreate, but sometimes it'll draw a full pressure randomly for no reason, but it's not really a big deal. You just undo and go back from there. I'm going going relatively slowly. And as you can see, if we compare the wiggliness of the two, this is much less wiggly. We have some lines going the other direction. You know, and you can you can move it at a little bit more speed. Yeah, you know, not as much of a problem. I mean, there's a little bit of unevenness, but that's mostly actually me just my hand just wiggling a little bit. Um, I don't have any of the same jitter problem. See, that was really slow, slow and. Uh, even though I had an unsteady stroke there, it still stayed pretty straight. And then when I want to do a circle, you can see the lines aren't randomly curving up anymore. So I wanted to keep working on that circle. It would, it would stay, you know. So it works rather well. Uh, pressure sensitivity is great. Very good. Very good at registering fast strokes. So if you like to do hatching and that kind of thing, it's definitely capable of doing hatching. Um, yeah, if you, you know, just comparing the two, you can see the wiggliness here as opposed to the less wiggliness there. Um, I think uh, I'll bring up a couple of my criticisms um, that I have of the device, and they're pretty minor. One is that one bug you saw where randomly it will draw a uh, heavier stroke uh, but again you know you just press undo and it does that very uh, rarely so it's not that huge of a deal it's not what I would call a deal breaker the other is there's quite a bit of initial activation force that you have to press in order to get it to actually start drawing um, if I use a lighter brush it'll be a little bit easier to show what I'm talking about here because um, you know the ink any any pressure is going to gonna show let's do acrylic so you know normally with a lot of styluses if I press no, it's out of focus uh, come on there we go if I press very lightly this would register something this is not doing crap I have to press down relatively hard to get it to start drawing let me do a bigger stroke here so to to even get this very light, light thing that's going on, I'd say I press about half as hard already as it would on any other any of the other styli that I've used. So, and to really get it dark, you have to really press down hard. And again, it's not really going to damage your iPad or anything. Um, you know, it's just uh, I'm used to less activation force needed to start drawing, and uh, I've definitely noticed that being a little bit of an issue. But overall in that, I'm really impressed with the drawing performance. Uh, next, I'm going to check out some other apps. But uh, first, I'm going to do a little jump cut because my phone is running out of memory. All right, all back and ready to go. More room to record. Woohoo! All right. Uh, sorry for the interruptions. Um not quite used to doing reviews yet. Uh, I'll try and plan this out a little bit more next time. 
Um, but let's go and test out some other apps really quick just to show the performance. I would say, oh look, I, that's from the last time I was actually testing out this app. I don't use uh, Sketchbook hardly ever. Uh, not because it's a bad app, it's actually pretty good. But, nope, no. Okay, and so yeah, it already automatically sunk, uh, synced it. <laughs> Almost said sunk it. Um, it's not really the correct uh, version to use of the word anyway. Um, let's see. Light to thin, to thick. Very good. Absolutely. Uh, no jitter, jitter problems here either. Well, those are some bad strokes, but that was entirely my fault. You'll have to take my word on that. Yeah, there you go. See, very, very straight lines. No problems drawing circles or any, any, any issues whatsoever. Um, very good. Still have to press a little bit hard, you know, rather hard, but uh, not, uh, you know, it's not, again, it's not going to break anything. It's just you have to press a little bit harder than is my personal preference to really get the results in terms of darkness uh, that you want. So Sketchbook Pro works perfectly with Sketchbook Pro. Uh, Adobe Sketch, it does, it is actually supported in Adobe Sketch. I have seen some concerns that it wasn't, and but it is. Uh, we'll just go ahead and prove that by, and, and I'm going to choose one of Kyle's brushes because they are awesome. And let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just do black. Black is a good test color. And as you can see, varying the pressure here. So that works. If I press this button, it uh, does undo. If you press the front button, it does what is mapped to any of the one stylus, one button stylus buttons. It pulls this up. So uh, on my other stylus, my uh, bamboo fine line, I wasn't able to do that. Uh, for whatever reason, the button would only pull up this weird kind of um, radial menu. And it's a good menu for quick selecting things. It was just a little bit annoying. But yeah, the performance, quite good. In uh, Adobe Sketch, or Photoshop Sketch. Uh, fully supported pressure sensitivity. Um, and it's going to be hard with this brush, so let me actually change to a different brush. But, um, no jitter problems. Wow, these are bad lines. No jitter problems. So, great. It works in that. So, these these three are my favorite uh, drawing apps on the iPad. So, I mean, it supports all of them wonderfully. I don't need to recover whatever I was doing. It was probably some junk. You can see all the images on here. Uh, this is Medibang. Medi, Medibang. Medi, Medibang. Paint. Uh, this one... For whatever reason, I have to turn on. I have to turn on pressure sensitivity every time I start. I don't know why. Uh, my favorite brush in this is the Sumi brush. And as you can see, pressure sensitivity works quite well. No issues here. I'm drawing different thicknesses of lines, but as you can see, going very slowly, no jitter problems in this either. You know, a little bit of jitter there. I think that was more my my movements rather than the stylus, though. Again, even if you go from if you go from super slow to like moderately, you know, less slow, it will completely correct any of those jitter problems if you run into them. Um, you know, it has about as much jitter as say like a, a surface pen maybe even less so it works very very well in terms of uh, line stabilization and um, 
yeah, just response. It's great. Uh, again, the uh, having to press down harder is the only, really the only thing I would knock in terms of the performance. It uh, performs excellently. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the really cool way that you charge it, and then I will wrap up. All right, time for some closing thoughts on the Donut Pixel. So first, actually, before we get to starting to that, in these somewhat abysmal lighting conditions. I want to show you the little dongle here. And bring it into focus. There we go. It has a little charging uh, induction plate here. And a very kind of stealthed out black um, shape here. It has the name. Um, the cool thing about this though, as you um, may have guessed, or basically as I already stated before, is that this is magnetic and it just snaps on and I like to keep it like this as like an as a stand uh, you know that's how I, I store it and generally and it's very strong so you know you can wiggle it around it's not coming off of there so basically if you want to charge it all you do is you plug this bad boy into your computer and plug in the stylus and there you got a little indicator light that shows hey I'm charging awesome and just pull it off again when you're done um, I guess I'll show the light uh, it does that when you're pairing it. it goes through like a three stage thing I think the manual says that it'll it'll flash but it doesn't actually blink rapidly it more it more does like the do 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 uh, I think they fixed the manual. I saw that uh, from someone that they had actually misstated that in the manual earlier, though. So I guess I wanted to clarify that in case you got a version with an older manual. Um, but yeah, anyway. And it's got the light on both sides, which is interesting. And yeah, it just sits there. Kind of like a weird, you know, whatever extension of your computer. Uh, yeah, and, you know, with the lights on my keyboard and the light of my mouse and my my mouse mat here it blends in really well and my big my my big uh, blue which are my orange blue snowball microphone that I'm not using um, which my voice would sound better on if I was using but uh, you know I just like recording everything on the phone for these videos uh, anyway oh I got a got a pop-up of another uh, review uh, reviewer uh, you know subscription pop-up mobile tech review posted something that's a great channel going check her out uh, sometime uh, for some great tech reviews B better than this one certainly um, anyway yeah so in summary is do I think it's worth it yeah I do actually think it's it's really uh, worth the price uh, I got this particular one as a is a gift from a family member so I didn't have to pay the price but I gladly uh, you know would have paid the I believe it's going for $69.99 um, US dollars right now it, uh, that could be the sale price. It might be back up to seventy nine ninety nine, but it's definitely worth that much just to get a stylus that works properly with all of the apps that I use. Uh, performs a lot better than the Bamboo Fine Line Two, in my opinion. And if you don't have a uh, iPad that uh, is an iPad Pro, uh, in which case you would obviously uh, just get the uh, you would just get the Apple Pencil. Uh, I have tried Apple Pencils on several occasions, and uh, I can attest the Apple Pencil is quite a bit better than this, but my iPad Air 2, an Apple Pencil is not going to do anything. So, you know, if you if you have the iPad Pro, then by all means, definitely uh, get the Apple Pencil. Uh, they, they're mar Adonit is marketing this as a pencil replacement. I wouldn't, I, I don't think I would agree with that. Uh, it's quite good, but it's not as good as the pencil. Uh, despite the pencil not having function buttons, uh, I would still give it to the pencil in terms of what I would be using for drawing ideally on an iPad. But if you have an older iPad like me, uh, this device is a bit of a godsend. It really uh, brings new life into it as a drawing tablet. Uh, there are some apps that aren't compatible. Uh, the notable ones I can think of are uh, Paper by 53. Um, that is only compatible either with an Apple Pencil or with the Pencil by 53, which is uh, 
this big this big bad boy here. I really like the design of this pencil. It's a shame it's not really pressure sensitive. That's the main thing that kind of killed it for me. And uh, some of the function actually kind of broke for me near the end of um, me using it. So, you know, kind of disappointing in that case. But the tip still works. I, I might do a video on the pe uh, 53 pencil, pencil by 53 later. It's uh, it's it's quite a it's quite a nice little stylus, but um, if you're not looking for pressure sensitivity or at least real pressure sensitivity, and you just want something that's kind of like a a, a dumb stylus, um, this is a great stylus for that. But if you want to be doing like pressure sensitive drawing and have all your buttons and stuff, this is definitely the one to get the uh, Adonic Pixel. Uh, yeah, so not compatible with uh, paper by 53, not compatible with uh, bamboo paper. Uh, as far as I know, only Wacom uh, pens are compatible with that. I think maybe the Apple Pencil, but I'm not sure. Um, so, yeah, if you really like bamboo paper, then maybe you want to go get one of the bamboos. I know that they just released a new one, but I haven't seen any drawing apps listed as being compatible with the new bamboo fine line, so I'm a little dubious um, as to that. I think that's more for handwriting, but I, I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, all the other main drawing apps I've tried work. Um, so I, I really like it, and uh, yeah, if there's any follow-ups, I'll keep you posted. Uh, I did figure out a little trick to help the uh, jitter situation with the bamboo fine line, so that's probably gonna be one of my next videos, is just showing that little technique off. Um, it's not preferable to using a pixel, but it's, uh, you know, something if you really don't want to pay money to upgrade to a new stylus um, for an older device at this point. Um, yeah, and I guess before I close I should go over the compatibility really quick. Basically this is compatible with all iPads, iPad 4 and up. So, um, and I believe that includes the mini, all of the minis. I'm not sure. It's compatible with the mini three and four at the very least. Um, so Air, Air two, um, uh, both of the iPad Pros, I believe. Although again, you know, there's no reason why you should be using this with an iPad Pro. Um, and uh, it even, I think it even works with iPhone. Although if you want pressure sensitivity on your iPhone, then uh, any stylus will work because of uh, force, or not force touch, it's called uh, 3D touch. So, uh, anyway, yeah, thanks for uh, listening to me ramble about this stylus, and uh, go out and get one if you're interested. And I'll, I'll see you in the next uh, video. Bye.